It's a pretty simple concept. I ask you guys for suggestions, you give me topics, I write jokes about them, I perform them, I film it, you watch it, you laugh. It's Stand and Deliver with Bill Squire. Sex Education. I remember doing sex education, I remember the first year, because you do it all through school, but the first year they did it in my school was fifth grade, and we were all trying to act like we were cool, like we knew more about sex than we did, we are like, yeah, we know about pussies, we're fifth graders, like, we're, we're pretty, like, we know a lot of things, and then they started talking about everybody, everything, and we're like, oh, wow, I didn't know about that stuff, and it got weird, but then there was that one kid, like, he knew more about sex than they even taught us, like, he knew way too much about sex, he's talking about, like, anal sex and like what it sounds like and then I started yeah and then I started writing a joke about it 25 years later and I realized oh shit Kevin got raped um, <laughs> that's the only reason he would know that stuff <laughs> and also I still don't know where a girl's pee hole is <laughs> Aglets, the plastic tips on shoelaces. Aglets. Aglets are the little plastic things that they put on shoelaces so that you can actually lace up your shoes. They're an amazing invention, and anybody that's ever tried to lace up a shoe without one of them, with like an old <coughs> soft shoelace, knows that they're really important, and also that that is the perfect metaphor for erectile dysfunction. Is. <laughs> that should be every erectile dysfunction commercial, just an old guy with an old pair of shoelaces just trying to jam that soft bit of shoelace through that little hole. And then his older lady friend just smiling at him with a brand new pair of blue shoelaces, because that's the color of Viagra. <laughs> And she's just like, wink, and then they get it on. Road rage and traffic. I don't understand people that have road rage. Road rage, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, you ever stop at a stoplight and someone's next to you and they're losing their mind because you accidentally cut them off and they're like, fuck you, man, I'll kill you. Get out of your car right now, I'm gonna fucking kill you. It's like, hey, dude, relax. I'm trying to text. <laughs> New mothers blowing up your news feed with their gross little turd of a baby. Look, there's a war against babies on Facebook. Anytime someone posts a baby, everyone's like, oh, enough with the babies. We don't care about your stupid baby. It's fine. People are excited about their kids. Let them, let them have that enjoyment. You don't have to like the picture. You can hide their news feed. It doesn't matter that much. So yeah, go ahead and post your pictures of babies on Facebook. I don't like when people post pictures of babies on porn sites. That's different. At least that's what I'm trying to convince this one judge. I can't really talk about it. What about how we fall asleep only by pretending to be asleep first? Uh, I read this thing that uh, falling asleep only happens when you pretend to fall asleep. Like that's how we actually fall asleep. We act like we're asleep and then we are asleep. And I'm glad that that's not how the rest of our society works. Like I'm glad you can't be like, I'm gonna pretend to be a doctor and then do surgery. <laughs> or I'm gonna pretend to be an engineer and then design a bridge. Or I'm gonna pretend to be a politician and then be president. <laughs> Q-tips. Q-tips. I wish they would stop acting like we don't know what they're there for. <laughs> On the back of Q-tips boxes now, they have all these different suggestions of how you can use Q-tips. It's like, oh, use Q-tips to remove makeup, or oh, use Q-tips to put a little alcohol on it and then take care of that little pimple on your face. And there's just like a picture of a Q-tip getting rubbed on a baby's head. I don't know what that one is for. <laughs> And then, like in small print, it's like, if you use a Q-tip in your ear, just use it on the outside. <laughs> That's what we're, we're, we'll start that way. Like, I'll take a Q-tip and I'll start on the outside. Yeah. Pretty nice right here, isn't it, Q-tip? And then I'll slowly work my way closer and closer to the hole. And like I'll graze it over the top just a little bit. And the Q-tip's like, no, don't do that. That's against the rules. 
And then you get closer and closer, just like right there. And then finally the cute touch, just like put it in. And then before you know it, you go too deep, too deep, and you got an infection again. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. My name is Bill Squire. Have a good night.